One of the best things about fishing is going out and bringing back a photo of your catch. However, one of the things we want to do is we like to release a lot of the fish and take really good care of them. So in this particular demonstration, we're going to show you how to photograph the fish, but this is a fish that we're taking home. And it's because the demonstration just takes so long. No matter what, we would never be able to properly re revive this fish. So one of the shots that we always want to take is a shot with the fish in a vertical position. And actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to be really careful here, I'm going to reach inside the fish's gills. I'm going to miss the red part of the gills and just put my hand up inside the gill. And then I'm going to spin the fish around and lift it up and support it the whole time. It's very important that you don't hang these fish from like a gripping tool of any kind because you can really damage them. And this all needs to be done fairly quickly. Yeah. So I've got Jeff with me, and Jeff, tell me, you know, what should the photographer be doing right now? I've got this fish in position. What are the things I'm looking for? Well, the, the key thing is you don't want to have a fish, like we've already said, we're going to take this fish, but with the shots we took earlier releasing fish, you really don't want to have the fish out of the water for more than 10 or 15 seconds. So whoever's taking your pictures, you want to talk about how you're going to hold that fish and have it all set before that fish comes over and into the boat. Right. So once you get the fish in the boat, everybody wants to do that kind of typical long shot like you've got here. You're going to get that cameraman in fairly close, hold the fish out just a little bit, yep. get two or three really quick pictures. Then you're going to want to transition into another style hold. And then and obviously get the fish back in the water. Yeah, so it's kind of get it out, boom, 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 and then get the fish back in the water. Now this is a fish that's a little big for this demonstration. It would have been nice if we were doing this with a 12-pound fish. Yeah. This one's kind of, kind of hard to hold. So the important part of this though is treat the fish respectfully, keep your hands out of the gills, support it at all times, and be ready to do everything you gotta do. Yeah, yeah, don't get it out and start arguing. No, no, hold it like this higher. You wanna make sure that the angler and the camera guy know exactly what's expected. You can get a fish out of the water, and in 10 seconds you can shoot 20 beautiful pictures. The fish is back, he's swimming, and he's ready to be caught again another time. All right, it's time to try another shot. All right, so. When we're taking pictures of fish, it's really important that you know the positions, the camera guy and the angler talk to each other. I'm going to show you a really quick hold here called a shotgun, which can get, make your 30-pound striper look like a 60-pound striper. First thing, when you get him in the deck of the boat, make sure you got a clean side up, and if that fish is flopping, make sure that you got one good side that he's not beaten up, otherwise your photo's not going to be good. A lot of blood in the photos doesn't look good. So a shotgun pose, we grab him by the tail, we reach underneath, get him under the gills, or under the chin, keep your finger, your hands out of the gills. And what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take that fish up by your head as close as you can so that the camera guy can get in close to you and the fish just looks big. And the easiest thing to do is have the angler get in the right position and the camera guy moving around because it's hard to hold a fish this big. And you can get some amazing shots like this. The fish just looks giant and the closer you get to that camera, the bigger it looks. This is a good way to do it. Real good way to handle them and it's good for the fish as well.